Hey guys. Get that. Cassie found something here. It's the size of a nickel. A buffalo nickel. Give me the buffalo juice. Oh, I got to keep digging some more here. Let's see what else we can get. I found myself a bucket lister. I got a crotal bell. It's a weedy. You found a weedy? Yes. Sweet. A Walking Liberty 1943 half dollar. Oh my God, it's freaking gorgeous. You got an Indian? Oh my god, Cassie got an IHP. Needless to say, I am a happy camper. Hey guys, it's February and it's cold. It's snow on the ground, lots and lots of snow. I'm out at a school I didn't know existed until a few days ago. Just got out here to check to see if I could dig. The ground on the surface is frozen. Some spots even more. But there's some spots that I can dig in. Dang it, I keep dropping my target. And uh, I did come across something. My very first target is a piece of harmonica reed. Don't know if you can see it too good there. So, the area that I'm in does have some age to it. it used to be farmland around here, and the school was built on the farmland like everything else, so... There's liable to be something in here. Let's uh, let's see if we can find anything else. Looks like I did find something else. Just uh, there's the other piece of harmonica reed. So I just came right over here a foot away and found another piece. And these things are shallow. This is only a foot down. So there's something out here. Um, so we move another foot over, <laughs> and you can see there. There's another big old chunk of it, so I guess I got to look this area over carefully and see if I can find the rest of this, if there's any more left. Kind of in the wood lines right here, right now, it seems to be a little bit less frozen over here. Just pulled a quarter out of here, and I have another signal down there somewhere. Wait, there it is. A penny? Yep, a penny. Let me stick that in my pocket here. Let me change hands. Ever so briefly. That might have got it. Let's see if I got any more here. Ooh, I do. I got some more there. right down there let me uh I don't have my tripod so hang on a second let me get down to it see what it is looks like it could be another quarter yep got another quarter so I don't know if I've made gas money back coming out here but at least there's something else out here let's swing the detector That might have been it. All right, we'll keep going. Check it out. I think I got myself a weedy. Of course, with all the snow here, it's hard to tell. Even through the camera, it's hard to see anything, but you can see the one cent right there. Maybe a date down there. Uh, let me see if I can scratch it off a little bit here. Hang on. Uh, I absolutely cannot tell what that says. 1940 something or other. But with all the snow here, it, it it makes it so that it's so bright outside of the field of view here. I can't tell what that is. So we'll check it when we get home. But I'm going to keep going. That means we're in a good area. Okay, here's one that was deep. The hole there is about 8 inches or so down to where that was. Maybe 7. Uh... Well, with the snow and everything, yeah, probably eight inches. It was hitting good. I'm going to be upset if that's just a regular old crusty penny. I think it's a wheat. Are you seeing anything? 
Whoops, I'm seeing me dropping it down in the hole. Let me, uh... That's, uh... That's weird. <laughs> the way that shined up like that. Holy cow. That's a freaking memorial penny. Oh my gosh. That sucker was deep down there. <sighs> Bummer. I thought I had at least a wheat. Yeah, we'll keep going though. I think we got something else interesting here. See the corner of it. Oh, that's not what I thought it was. I thought it was an umbrella slide. But you know what that is? That's the hat from a Monopoly game. That is cool. Wow. Never found a top hat before. Nice. Oh, wow, it's hard to believe that was Sunday. These last uh, clips there out in the snow. And um, it's Friday already. It's been a heck of a week after I got home from this detecting, the snow started coming down again. Um, it was a weird week. Tuesday we had freezing rain and in the afternoon we had ice pellets and for the first time this year I had trouble getting around in my car. Um, I had one steep hill that I had to go up where every, I could see in the distance everybody was stopped on the halfway up the hill and I'm like oh my gosh hopefully a, a gap clears if I can keep going I can make it up and I just had to keep slowing down more and more and more and got halfway up and then finally gravity took effect and I started going right back down. So I had to turn around and go a different way and the next day we got eight inches of snow when we only had like two forecasts. So it's been a crazy week but we got to go out for a couple of hours middle detecting so I guess it makes it all worthwhile and it is Friday again. So let me show you what I got real quick. Is it not a massive amount of finds is there? I was only out I think maximum of two hours, like I said. So, and the ground was frozen, the wind was horrendous. Uh, so if I ventured away from the tree line where I was at, I froze. So I made the best of what I could. I mean, it, it was a chance to get out. Got a little bit of clad. Got me a harmonica reed. Check this out. I've got the reeds still there. Part of the attachment mechanism. And look, these two are still attached. So I don't think that is a horribly old drop. That's probably no more than 50 years. Um, you know, it is pretty worn, so... But still, really cool. I like that. I like to find interesting items like that. Um, that's still old enough to me to be extremely interesting. Got a couple that started to get older. Uh, quarter, penny, dime. Got me a yeah, big... A, a playing piece from a mon Monopoly set, the top hat. That is definitely different. <laughs> and one Wheatie, a 44. So this place that I went to that I discovered has potential. So I think I'm going to have to go back there when the place is unfrozen. Uh, unfortunately, that snow is still on the ground and it is still frozen. So it's liable to be at least a couple of weeks, if not more. So stay tuned. We'll get out there and do the best that we can, and I'll talk to you guys later. Show me what you're doing while you're trying to figure out how to wait until snow gets off the ground and the ground is uh, available to dig. So I've seen a couple of people out there that have done uh, coin hunting and just walks in the woods and stuff like that. So leave me some comments. Let me know what you guys are doing to get through this, and I'll talk to you later.